Hi, today I'm going to do a nice fresh spring makeup look because the sun is finally shining here in London so I want to make the most of it. I'm going to start by using the Dior BB Cream and this is number 002 and um, I really like the texture of this one because it gives fairly good coverage. I know everyone's quite confused with the whole BB and CC thing and I think it is basically a big marketing hype although the products themselves some of them are really really nice so it's just sort of finding one that you really like yourself um, and that gives you all the benefits that you need for your particular skin because um, I mean BB cream has been around for a long long time since really the 60s when it was developed by a plastic surgeon a German plastic surgeon who used to make up this all-rounder cream to give to her plastic surgery patients and via one of her patients it made it back to South Korea where everyone admired this actress's skin who legend just has it she'd obviously had plastic surgery but she kind of put it down to this cream so they became very 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 popular in Asia and um, they are you know they tend to be kind of like the next generation of tinted moisturizers really and they're all quite different you know some of them give more coverage than others some are good for blemishes some have a lot of hyaluronic acid in so they're good for sort of plumping up the skin and hydrating the skin so I think if you sort of see them as being the next generation of tinted moisturizers and try not to get too scared of them and just look for one that you really like and try not to get too wrapped up in the marketing then um, I think you know there are some really nice ones around but just be aware of the colors as well because a lot of the ones from from Asia tend to be very very pale but a lot of the Western brands who are making them now make lots of different shades so if you can find a shade that suits you and you like the texture like I like this one um, then why not this one feels really nice it does feel lighter than foundation um, it's only SPF 10 this one some of them you can get really good protection from but um, it does have a really, really nice feel to it. And for my particular skin type, this one I find to be really nice. It's not too shiny, but it's still quite hydrating. On top of that, I'm going to use some of this. It's a weird way around to do it, but this is the Super Perfect Primer from Dermalogica, and this is SPF 30. I've taken to using this for almost using it like a highlighter because it has a lot of shimmer in it I mean not loads but in, in daylight you can really see it sort of shimmering so I've started using it almost like a diffuser you can see that it any little spots or marks that I have um, around my cheeks I tend to get sun damage around the top of my cheek area anyway that's where I kind of pick it up when I do so I've been using this just to smooth onto my cheeks on top of the BB cream and really just thinking it was a kind of highlighter because it really catches the light in quite a subtle nice way and it smells wonderful it smells of um, lavender use a touch on the center of my nose around the top lip area anywhere you want a bit of smoothing out I mean you could use this all over it's meant to be used all over it's just that I don't like too much shimmer But the um, the shimmer is incredibly fine, so it's not doesn't look glittery. It just picks up the light, so it kind of gives you that perfect look to your skin. I am going to have to use a little bit of concealer simply because I had a little squeeze this morning. You can see that I've squeezed a few um, block pores and things. I've got little red marks, so I'm going to use my Murad blemish covering concealer which is a concealer but it has a little bit of salicylic acid in as well so it conceals them really well but it also clears out those pores so I don't think they're going to develop into spots but I'm just being extra careful and to finish off my base I'm going to use the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer and this is from my own little makeup bag just pat that on a little bit into the darker areas so on to eyes, I'm going to keep them really simple, I'm not going to use anything complicated so I'm going to use the Scandalized Pencil by Rimmel because this is a waterproof pencil so it's kind of like a primer and a 
colour all in one and I'm just going to use this very neutral shade which is called Bulletproof Beige and that's so simple to apply and we know it's going to stay put just to sort of lighten up the area but without giving too much a little bit of shimmer but not too much colour and I'm going to apply a little bit also to the inner corners just to highlight and one of the really nice things about using this sort of shimmery creamy colour on your or, or quite a light colour on your eyelids is that it really frames your lashes so by the time you put your mascara on against the light background they really stand out which um, I think is a really nice look um, especially this time of year I'm going to use some Max Factor False Lash Effect and I had my lash lift done about three weeks ago now so um, I'm really thrilled with it because this is how my lashes look every day when I wake up they're sort of lifted and I never use I don't need to use any eyelash curlers so um, I just use a little bit of moisturizing serum in them and then just put mascara on as normal so um, my routine is kind of quite short the only thing it's a, sometimes an issue with is when you're putting eyeliner on see your eyelashes are super lifted so you have to kind of it's a bit tricky because you have to sort of go in behind them um, but anyone with naturally curled lashes probably has that problem anyway for my brows I'm going to use the Shivata pencil and this is the double ended one so there's two different shades I really like this because um, one shade is slightly darker if you can see there and the other shade is a little bit lighter a little bit warmer and this is quite good because you get quite a natural effect if you're kind of mixing the two shades um, so I'll pull mine down but if I was to sort of maybe put a few dark strokes in and then a few lighter strokes I mean you obviously can't see it here because my brows are already quite full but if your brows are quite sparse then you might want to um, it's quite a good way to do it because it becomes very natural when you it's almost like when you're having your hair coloured you know they, they tend to put different colours in to make it look more natural um, so I guess it's the same philosophy and then you might want a sort of lighter one just in there but um, it's a nice pencil because it's nice and hard as well and has a nice fine point and just keep it really fluid so lots and lots of feathery strokes for my lips I'm going to use the shade that I had on in some of my foundation videos because I had so many comments asking me what the colour was and it is a very very beautiful colour it's one of the sheer YSL lipsticks and um, it looks quite purpley when you see it in the bullet but it goes on a kind of cyclamony pink I call that uh, and it's a beautiful colour and suits lots of different skin tones because it's quite blue toned it can look good on really pale sort of cooler toned skins but it's really nice on olivey skins and more yellow toned skins as well because it really lifts the sallowness and it also makes your teeth look very white which is great um, you could put this on obviously straight from the bullet it's super moisturizing And although it's sheer, it has quite a good punch of colour. It's all misshapen because I've been using it kind of. It's been in my handbag and it's got a bit mashed up. And it has enough colour in it to make corrections. So, unlike some of the sheer ones that don't really have enough pigment in, with this one you can, um, if you need to do any little filling out or accentuating or correcting you can just use it with a lip brush as I'm doing if you are going to use it correctively in the way I've done where you've ex you know, I've accentuated my bottom lip a little bit then once you've got one good layer on with the lip brush I would blot just over the top and then you've got your shape and then you can just go over straight from the bullet and that way it'll last you've got a little bit of a stain going on there underneath and then you can pop that in your handbag and um, touch up now that my bright lips are on I definitely need some blush so I'm going to use Havana by Benefit which has got that sort of bluey pink in but it's mixed with a little bit of a peachy tone as well so he's not going to get I don't want to end up looking too sort of cold with all these shades I'm just going to put that on just to keep them make it looking nice and fresh and I'm just adding a tiny pop of the pink which I have just done just to the sort of apples of my cheeks so it 
sort of ties in with the lips. So that's the finished look and I'm putting it with a nail which doesn't match exactly but it's very much in the same family because I've, I've gone quite clashy with what I'm wearing. I've got quite a fluoro pink stripe and a bit of an orange stripe here so I think if I keep my nails and lips sort of fairly similar then it, it, it's keeping it chic and um, I love this lip colour. I just it just makes me feel really, really happy. But obviously adapt the lip colour to suit your skin tone. If this is too blue for you, then maybe you want to use a warmer, bright colour. So um, yeah, just adapt it to suit your skin tone. And um, I feel it's a really nice, fresh look for spring. So I hope you like it.